It's a new bill that could spell relief for lots of women, and it's all about footwear and fairness. Have you ever been forced to wear heels at work? Um, yes. Put your feet in her shoes. Eight or nine hours a day, up flights of stairs in these. What does it do to your feet? Um, you definitely need to lie down after a long shift. Uh, you, you know, they're cut up and bleeding. Liberal MPP Christina Martins wants to change the province's Occupational Health and Safety Act to stop employers from forcing workers to wear heels. We've had some women coming forward and saying that, you know, missed shifts, they've uh, been asked to stay home and in some cases have lost their jobs. Recently, I guess they've changed it to now it's encouraged. So now it's, but everyone does wear them. Everyone does. So even though they say encouraged, it's still kind of mandatory? Yeah. And keep in mind, it's not just bars and restaurants where women feel pressure on their feet. For example, I was a dental assistant for years and I have heard that a uh, previous dental assistant that I knew, she actually worked downtown for a dentist and he wanted her to wear heels as a dental assistant. And that's just completely outrageous. If an employer tries to impose a dress code on a woman that's otherwise illegal, there's no good accessible remedy for a woman. They would have to file a complaint with the Human Rights Tribunal, that takes months. What do you do in the meantime? Do you wear it, do you not? Well, if this new law comes into effect, there's an immediate, right now accessible remedy that's available to the employee. The employee can say no. I don't Swear. think I would like to be forced to wear heels at work, so I can relate to the women uh, pushing for that. The bill is now before the legislature. If passed, Ontario will become the second province after B.C. to implement a law that would put a hold on high heels.